Hey, what's up, everybody? It's BDF44 coming at you with another video. So, uh, I'm just listening to all the conversations going on in regards to everybody who's had anything and everything to say about Kobe Bryant's case, okay? The late, great Kobe Bryant. Um, and in my, my opinion, just kind of zooming out, if, if I'm to assume, which I am, that Kobe Bryant, though he did... Occur, something occurred with that woman. Uh, it, the evidence shows me, and I'll speak for myself, that that there's a lot of uh, there's, there's there's too many reasons, many reasons to believe that uh, this this occurrence was consensual. Uh, that that this uh, the accuser was not fully sane. Uh, that the accuser may have been looking for financial gain, and that the accuser was in fact proud. Of the incurrence, based on the fact that she was basically said to have bragged about Kobe Bryant's, um, you know, body part and what have you. So if I'm to take all that into consideration, and then I still hear individuals uh, saying that Kobe Bryant is a rapist, Kobe Bryant did this, Kobe Bryant's getting karma, people have been just sounding off, damn near losing their mind sounding off in their opinions. And so at what point do I say, okay... We have to start having a real conversation, an honest and, and responsible conversation about how much anger should be pointed at people who are crying wolf in regards to these type of situations. I want to be sensitive to people who've been uh, abused or, or, or have uh, faced something, some sexual in, in advances that were not welcomed. I want to be very, very, very careful not to... Uh, uh, misspeak in a situation like this but it really comes down to me saying point blank period there needs to be more harsher consequences for individuals who try to ruin people's lives with crying wolf about things that are not uh, actually as they are being re reported okay let's just put it like that if you're coming out saying that somebody did something to you and it didn't go down that way there needs to be consequences for that and there needs to be a certain level of vitriol, vitriol coming from people who are part of these different movements who tend to attack rapists and attack people who are accused of certain things with a certain level. They should be angry at people like that. You belittle the movement. You believe you keep people who are afraid to speak out uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a state of, 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 of hold, basically. They don't want to speak out because of you. Because you've come out and, and cried wolf and made it so that people don't really believe as much as they would. Or, or, or maybe they would perceive that people wouldn't believe them if they speak because of individuals like this. There needs to be a lot of anger pointed at people like the individual who accused Kobe Bryant of rape. When the evidence shows that she was just flat out lying. Okay? Let's just, let's just lay it on the line here. Let's just be honest here. She was fucking lying. Okay? She was she was not being forthright about her intentions with him, about the occurrences that took place, about the type of individual that she was when she was doing all the things that she was doing, whatever they may have been. She wasn't forthright about who she was, where her mental state was. I'm not saying Kobe didn't sleep with this woman. He admitted to it. He did that. That happened. But let's not fool ourselves into thinking that she was some type of victim. She might have been a victim of, of something that, that wasn't within her control, like her mind state. You know, if we want to sit at, look, sit at it and look at it like that, she may be a victim of something she might not have been in control, like possibly her uh, an addiction of some sort to some type of narcotic. <laughs> she might be a victim to that type of disease. But let's not act like Kobe Bryant wasn't a victim himself. When his life was torn apart and his his livelihood was put at risk and his life was put on at risk, his marriage was put on the line because of her lie and his decision to, to be with her in the first place, which was his fault. He went outside of his marriage. He did that. That's on him. He has to, he had to face his wife with that. And he did. And you know what she did? She forgave him, moved on with her life. And I think we need to do the same in regards to this case. The accused took her $2 million, went on, moved on with her life. 
Why are we still bringing up something from 13 years ago in regards to specifically Kobe Bryant? And most importantly, why aren't enough of us angry at her for ruining this man's life or trying to? If racism isn't a part of our mindset, if bigotry isn't part of our mindset, if blind, just blanketed thinking isn't a part of our process, and we're not just saying that everybody accused is guilty and everybody who's black is, is after somebody who, who just to take from them. If, if we're not just blanketed by stupid stupidity is basically what I'm saying. Then let's rationally sit down and really consider who we should actually be angry at in situations like this. The liars, not the accused. That's what I have to say. That's truly how I feel. I think a lot of people are so blind in their racism or blind in their, their victimhood. People have been harmed. They, they're not allowing themselves to open, allowing their minds to be open enough to say, well, maybe let me look at these situations and say, hmm, does this fit what is actually what I'm actually perceiving here? Or am I just because something happened to me, I'm just mad at everybody accused. And I just uh, look back and see something that happened to me and just uh, blanketed uh, the situation in regards to what's going on over there. I'm just projecting my my experience onto that situation. That's irresponsible. If you're going to speak out. If you're going to keep that to yourself and you're just going to, you know, not not care. And just want revenge against anybody and everybody who's ever done anything. Well, consider this. If somebody didn't do something, you're mad at the wrong people. If somebody's lying, you're mad at the wrong person because they're making you look foolish, riling you up in that energy inside of you, making you revisit those things that happened to you because they're trying to have some type of ulterior motive about their self. They're trying to get some money. They're trying to ruin somebody's life. They, tried, they didn't get what they wanted out of that person, so now they're going to try to ruin that person's life. They riled you up. Why aren't you mad at them? You see what I'm saying? If racism... And blanketed thinking and stupidity, sheer freaking stupidity, isn't, isn't who you are. Then how about you take a look at the facts of a situation before just coming to some conclusion. Some blind conclusion that that black man took that poor white woman and did something to her. How about we look at the situation and say, okay, look, what, what do we have here? What do we have here? If we're going to try to put somebody's life on the line and try to destroy a man's legacy, can we at least look at the, the facts? Can we at least take a look at the accuser and try to see if they're a wolf choir or somebody who really was harmed? Because if we're not going to do that, we're being irresponsible. If we're not going to do that, then we should be looking at ourselves and saying, you know what? We need to do better. We need to think a little harder. We need to not be so lazy with our thinking. We need to not be so lazy with our studying. We need to not be so lazy in regards to how we move in this world. If we're just going to look at something and put a label on it and then nod our heads like we're, we, we've self-righteous in our thinking. You haven't done the work. You haven't done the work because if you looked at the specifics of that case, then you would know that that woman was lying. You're lying. Man didn't rape her. It was consensual. And he paid for that. So so what else do we need? What what more do I need to say in regards to how I feel about the situation? And people may look at this and say, yo, you're not being sensitive to it. And you don't know what happened in that room. And da, da, da. The case tells me what I need to know. The evidence shows. Her reputation showed. I mean, it, it is what it is. It did not help. Not to say that if she had a good, a bad reputation, she, this couldn't have taken place. It certainly could have. But you don't go off after something like that happens and then brag about it. Go around telling people how big the dude was. What are we talking about here? What are we talk? What are we talking about? Now I could surmise. I am not the type of person that can't see a scenario where someone would be that traumatic, feel that traumatic, or even just be that disturbed to where something like that could happen to them, and then they would go off and brag. It could happen. I'm not saying that that's not possible. What I'm saying is it probably didn't go down like that. You have to be a very, very unique mind. To have something like that happen to you. And then within your trauma. You go out partying. And bragging about how it happened. That's a different level of crazy. That's a very unique level of crazy. Let's just be honest. 
So I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm coming here as an African American man who's had things happen. You know, in my life, I've I've been sexually abused. This happened to me. I was a victim of some shit. But I ain't looking at my experience in life and say, yo, yeah, everybody who's ever been accused of anything, guilty is, they're all guilty. Everybody's guilty. That's ridiculous. I could walk to, up to somebody right now, point at them and say, yo, they did something to me. And then they're accused. Are you going to look at them and say, of course, he's telling the truth. That person is uh, is all the worst things in the world because of my lie? Because I can pick you out. You watching this right now. I'll say, you did it. And then the whole world looks at you like you're looking at him. If they choose to believe my lie. There's literally no difference. None. So let's, let's, let's back up. You know? Let's, let's think. If we're not just blind racist. And if you're just a blind racist, then say that. Every black man's guilty because they're born black. If you want to do that, or you hate men, every man's guilty because he's born a guy. At least be honest with yourself if that's what you're dealing with. But don't confuse that from doing for doing the hard, critical thinking. Don't confuse that with being a logical thinker. You are, in fact, a bigot, a man-hater, a racist, or what have you. But you are not telling the truth you are not viewing the situation objectively you are not someone anyone else should be listening to so you should not be talking that's all i got rest in peace kobe bryant gg bryant all the individuals lost in that crash i'm sorry this is the type of energy i gotta bring to the situation but as as fate would have it kobe did what he did in Colorado, so now this is a thing. I'm not take like I, like I said before. I'm not taking onus off of him. He did that. He did what he did. He just didn't do what she said he did, and that's the purpose of this video. He was the victim. So if you're mad at him, some ways, you're victim shaming. I'm gonna leave you with that. PDF. <laughs>